You know, one of the great things about photography is getting out in nature, peace and quiet at all. And the hiking, and the exercise. Wait a minute, I'm not gonna hike all 2,000 feet up Ball Buster Mountain just to yodel pepperwood off the top. Hell to no, we're going up in Duchar and my Giolantin wagon. I just saw this huge freaking snake over here. It's like a, a boa constrictor, maybe a, like an Amazonian king snake, or a garden snake, but it was big. God, I hate it when you can't see them. You know they're looking at you. It's like they got camouflage or something. You know, when you're like out in your yard and you see a big snake hole and you're thinking it's probably just a gopher hole. I mean, snakes don't come that big, right? Anyway, let's move on. Now that is how you climb a mountain. I mean, look at this view. It's just, just it's incredible. I mean, there's just something about nature. That, I don't know, makes you want to just so on the way up here, I stop at this country store and there's this Mark Twain looking dude working behind the counter. And he pops his teeth in just long enough to tell me, he said, hey Dale, let's spot them my mountain line up there at your place. They're probably four to five hundred pounds. You might want to watch yourself while you're up there. I'm like, what? Somebody waited? I mean, you had it. Why would you let it go? Now this is the part where most men would probably feel compelled to say something macho, but truth be known, I couldn't hit a California Redwood from three feet away with this rifle. However, if I do see said mountain pussy in question, the childlike shrill emanating from my lungs will surely drop it dead in its tracks. And I understand that covering yourself in human excrement can quite often deter an attack, and that should not be a problem. So anyway, photography, right? Uh, requires some gear and some planning and you have to be part pack mule. There's nothing worse than getting the top of Mount Ballbreaker to find out you forgot something that you needed, like the right lens, batteries, or a memory card. So there you are on top of a mountain, when in actuality, you guessed it, you're up Jet Creek. That's funny, people sometimes ask me, they say, dude, what's in the camera bag? And Really, you're gonna stick with that? So, what I carry in my bag is usually this Nikon D3, and it's a full-size sensor camera, and it, almost exclusively I have this uh, 14 to 24 millimeter f2.8 lens on it, because I like to shoot wide. Um, also in the camera bag, I'll carry a uh, Sigma, which is an off-brand, but I carry a Sigma uh, 16 millimeter at wide angle lens, and then I'll have a standard Nikon 1.4 uh, 50 millimeter lens, um, and that's really it. I don't carry a lot of telephoto lenses. So. Hey, if you allow me to digress about lenses for a couple of minutes, I'll leave you alone. But um, I like to shoot wide, as I mentioned, and um, you know the the sensors in these new cameras are so phenomenal nowadays that um, you know. You just, you need a wide angle lens to, to suck in all this, this scenery into your camera. Uh, I think a lot of consumer dollars are wasted on telephoto lenses. I mean, they're, they're huge and they're, uh, you know, this big penis extenders, but the occasion to use them, it's so far and few between. I mean, much unlike a penis extender, but if you, you know, if you're shooting sports, uh, race cars or something, or the occasional Pilates instructor that likes to cut her grass in her bikini top and you know you, you might need one but other than that if you want to zoom something in you know do it in Photoshop later on I mean, look at that lens that's that's huge oh yeah so uh, I also carry this very small bogan tripod which allows me to shoot from lower angles and it's quick and you can always have uh, a tripod to put on top of something if you need to steady a shot for long exposure or a multiple exposure. 
uh, and uh, definitely lots of memory cards. I also carry a MacBook Air with me and it fits in a little sleeve on my backpack and uh, if you're shooting something critical and you want to make sure you've got it this little window here is mostly for reference it's not so much to make sure you actually got a good shot so I will take the time to take the memory card out and put it in the computer and see if I got the shot. This tripod here it's a uh, Manfrotto it's uh, an Italian company and it's made out of carbon fiber and the cool thing about that is carbon fiber makes it light and if it's light I'll carry it if it's heavy I'm not going to carry it. And here's one more cool thing. It's got a uh, ball head on it. <laughs> I said ball head. <laughs> anyway, the ball head allows me to uh, uh, move the camera and make minor adjustments and just I release this handle and it's locked in place. And I want to tweak it a little bit, I can do it. And the good thing about that is it's easy because if it's hard, I'm not going to do it. If it's easy, I'll make a minor adjustment to my framing. And the camera comes right on off. There's a little plate on the bottom that you attach it to. And then quick release, locked in, and it's good to go. That's pretty much what's in my bag, baby. And look, I gotta go. My ADD's starting to kick in. I'm losing interest in this project. So um, let's just kind of recap. You know, the cool thing about Photo Safari is, you know, I'm out in this beautiful spot in the woods. Uh, I got to meet uh, a toothless Mark Twain. I got to see a Amazonian killer king snake and I got to worry about a, a mountain lion so you know that's what a fantastic day I wouldn't trade for anything and the really cool thing is I got to record the whole day so 50 years from now when I'm in the nursing home hooked up to a fart fan I can show my roommate on jello break you know what I did on this day and that's pretty cool I mean to me that's priceless so do yourself a favor take more pictures I gotta run. I got a Pilates lesson. I can't miss it. <laughs> Scratching the sh out of the car and may have just backed over a tripod.